Faisal Ahmad hasn't been able to take his year 10 exams. He lost vision in his left eye after being hit by a pellet from a gun used by security forces in Indian administered Kashmir. I feel very bad. I used to dream that I would become a doctor or something else, but India has stopped me from becoming anything because they took away my vision. In our village, there are at least 15 students who could not sit in the year 10 and year 12 exams, and you can imagine there could be many in other districts. When I was in hospital, there were a lot of year 10 class students there with pellet injuries. There have been frequent protests, bursts of violence and curfews in Indian administered Kashmir since mid-July when a popular separatist leader was killed. The unrest has stopped many students getting to class. And in the last few weeks, arsonists have burned at least 30 schools. Separatist leader Mohammed Yasin Malik blames the state government. Anybody can do this mischief, but... I think state government is wholly and solely responsible for the burnings of school, the way they have, they start a confrontation with the student, the way they conducted the exam, the way they handled the whole situation. But members of the security forces blame the people behind recent protests. Definitely it is the handiwork of uh, anti-national elements who themselves or their groups or at the behest of some organizations who were involved in staging all these protests in the last three, four months. But many students like Ikra Miraj have been able to make it to sit delayed exams. It was a bit difficult, uh, but uh, we somehow managed to do in spite of no preparations, no tuitions, no schools. The head of the education board in the city of Srinagar says they were waiting until the unrest cooled down to reopen schools. But after months of delays, they set a date for exams to give students a chance. There are two options for the students. Either the students should appear in these examinations or they can appear in the next after three months, covering their entire 100% syllabus. But here we have seen that 100% students are appearing. 98 to 99% students are appearing in both the classes. He said students who've lost their vision would be able to bring someone in with them who could write down their exam answers. But that's not something Faisal Ahmed has been able to do. He says the unrest has greatly affected him and many other students. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.